They forsook God. They followed the people around them. And in the end, 
they surrendered their freedom. In the end, and here's the point of today's message, here's the thing that always slips up on us, here's the thing that we never see coming until it's too late, Here's the thing that puts us in that cycle of I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Now I'm doing what I want to do when I want to do it. Uh Uh-oh, I'm doing what I do when I want to do it and I don't like it. And worse than that, I can't quit. That Israel simply traded one king for another. They were no longer able to resist. They willingly walked away from God and then found themselves in a place where they could not freely go back. Now, there's such a huge lesson in this for all of us. In fact, I, I, I don't even know that it's, it's, it's almost not even worth stating because all of us have our own story. All of us have our own story, whether if, you, if you're a Christian and you know you grew up in church and you heard all the stuff and what Jesus taught in the Ten Commandments, you know right from wrong, and even your conscience was kind of tuned into the teachings of Scripture, you, you, you would say, hey, I think I have clarity around what God wants from me. You knew basic right from wrong. You even memorized some verses as a kid, right? And you said, I'll never go back, I'll never go back. And then at some point in your life, you decided, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired of being a Christian. I'm tired of being a church person. I'm tired of, you know, I don't know what your words were. I'm just tired of this. Or maybe you didn't make a decision. Maybe it was slow. It was gradual. But at some point along the way, you walked away. Maybe it wasn't that overt. Maybe you weren't even a Christian. Maybe you just grew up in a good home where you just knew right from wrong. And your conscience was tuned in to basic, you know, I don't know, American or religious values. I don't don't know how you describe that. But somewhere along the way, you decided, you know what? I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it with whom I want to do it. I want to live my own life. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. I don't need a king. (laughs) I certainly don't need a God, an invisible God, who never seems to be on my side anyway. And then one day you woke up and realized, "Uh uh-oh, I didn't gain freedom. My expression of freedom actually ended up and resulted in a loss of freedom. And the reason is, without meaning to, and it always slips up on us, that's why we're talking about it. The reason is, we just traded one king for another. Come on. If there is a God who loves you, if there is a God who understands the power that forgiveness has to break the chain of the past, if there is a God who wants something for you better than perhaps what your family, even though their mistakes and decisions may have been unintentional, they didn't know any better, or, you know, whatever the reason was, if there's a God who says, hey, I want your generation, your kids, your grandkids to experience something completely different. Then why wouldn't you say yes to your creator, King? But I'm just going to tell you. The I want what I want, when I want, with whom I want. History will repeat itself. Because you've simply surrendered to another King. And you know how it starts. You know, because all these little kings, you know what they do? You know how they get us involved? The little kings, they tempt us with this idea. I won't. Just say I won't. Be your own man. Be your own woman. I won't. I won't obey. I'm not going to be morally pure. I'm not going to tell the truth. I'm not going to live on a budget. I'm not going to do what you say. I'm not. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. And all the little kings say, yeah, yeah, say it. Repeat it. It's our mantra. It's the bottom line. It's our motto. It's our saying. It's our marching orders. I won't. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. (laughs) You wake up and you find yourself saying, I can't. I can't stop. I can't get away. I can't back out. I can't change. I want to change. I want to change. I want to go back to the way it was. I want to go back to the days when I had a clear conscience. I want to go back to the days where people didn't like me, but I liked myself. I want to go back to the days where I was connected in a healthy community, surrounded by people that were going in the direction I always wanted to go, and I can't seem to get back there. Because the little kings, the kings of lust and greed and comparison, insecurity and fear, (laughs) they don't love you. They don't have your best interest in mind. And they tempt you with, just say you won't. Then one day you find yourself saying, I can't. 